Mahe. This is Navaz Modi Singhania, wishing you a happy wedding season ahead. Yes, just like all other seasons, weddings too are seasonal. Though yes, they tend to happen around the year, don't they? They gain momentum now at the end of the year. One years of those special Shubh Murats, and suddenly, hundreds and thousands of wedding rites are performed all in a single day. That's the ritualistic culture in India. And why not? It's our faith which keeps us going. Why not have faith in fitness too? and do a quick introspection. We all may be fit enough to attend a wedding, but the real question is, are we really wedding fit enough? The exotic nature of the great Indian wedding, which starts off from the rokas, the sagai, the sangeet, the bachelor parties, the feras, the receptions, all in different communities, the list could be even larger. Just like the body structures of many amongst us, many people are all excited about the oncoming wedding, but really are in denial and don't want to accept that they need to lose those extra pounds. We hope that you all follow Wedding Fit, which has been devised specially for you. So let's get active, get fit, get really wedding fit. Our wedding fitness regime will cover three definite aspects which can contribute to cutting the calories and the weight in the stipulated countdown time to D-Day. Firstly, fitness training regularly the way that I, Navaz Modi Singhania, will guide you through the process. Secondly, skincare tips and treatments which skin specialist Dr. Jamuna Pai will throw light on. And finally, nutritional guidance which nutritionist Luke Cotino will share with us. So, whether you're wedding planners or invitees, accept that you need to look lighter and nattier at an oncoming wedding. Then, wedding fit is exactly what you should be watching. It's absolutely no problem if it's just a few weeks away. You can still get what you want. So, here we go. First things first, really time to burn that fat. Join me today in a new body format routine. It's done with light weights, so you have a lot of upper body toning with it too. Now your weights need to be as light to begin with as half a kilo. That's just about approximately a pound. Now, in case you don't have light weights at home, use a small sealed bottle of water instead. Use those. Improvise for light weights, in other words. Let's get going. We're just gonna start up with our warm-up right now. Legs being shoulder width apart, we've got single drop downs end to end. Let's go. Bend on the ends, we're dropping in between counts. All right, step touches end to end, tap back, wave arms, it's a double wave. Repeat, that's it. Four to go. Feet together. A double hip shift in presses. Single that, take it up. Slowly lower, repeat, double press. Single that up. Lovely, now four step touches forward, side to side. Step touch, reach and pull in, cross over. Lovely, larger as you warm up. Now back. Step touch, reach, pull. Work it from the top, single drop downs. Go in between counts. All right, step touch, end to end, tap back, double wave arms. Nice. Let's open it out as you warm up. Get the heart rate higher. Get the circulatory system going. Double press forward, hip shifts. Good. Single your way up. Lower slowly, shoulder level and repeat that. Doubles first. Single that up. Lower. Four step touches forward. Four in place, reach, pull, cross, and back. Step touch, reach, pull. Nice, work it from the top, single drops again. 
Okay, new move, two presses, right, left, take it up, pulse. Good, elbows up high. Upper body goes in the opposite direction from your palms. All right, a slow wide walk on the right. Now double up, left, continue. Last time, good, drop down. Slow walk, double it. Carry on to the end. Super, nice and warm. All right, so now we're ready to get into the main new body format routine. We need the light weights right now that we spoke about previously or your bottles of water, whatever the case may be. So bring them in and let's go. All right, here we are. Weights in, beginning with a front lunge, starting on your right leg. If you have a knee problem, it won't be a lunge all the way down. It'll just be a smaller step forward. Opposite arm in flow, let's go. One more, other leg ball change, opposite arm. Bring the arm up to shoulder level. Now right leg goes back, ball change, go. One more, and left leg ball change. Step tap to your side, scissor and switch, right, left. Continue. Try and keep it large, open it out. Arms are nice and straight. One more, now backing you. Two step touches forward, arms in the opposite direction. Pivot, turn, repeat, take it back. Two grapevines, right and left. Forward lunge, not too deep if you have any problem. Repeat that combo. Step touch, take it up, pivot, turn, back. Two grapevines, forward lunge, good. Right leg circle around, double arm and flow, switch. Take the leg back as well, leaning forward as you do so, so you protect the back well. Nice and large. Scissor step side to side. Lovely, carry on, lighter on the feet, get off the floor a little more, one more, okay, combo, two step touches, pivot turn, back again, two grapevines, right, left, forward, and the same combo, go. Ready to circle it about, right leg, double arms, and left. Careful to lean forward and take the leg back all the way. Don't cut the corner there. Carry on, last eight. Okay, starting with your legs apart, two singles and a double rocking horse. Try and turn the upper body with this. Let's go. One more, double open chest press. It's an imaginary drum bang now. Start on the right, three of them, curl, left. Carry on. All right, squat and pulse. Watch here that your knees don't overshoot your toes, yeah? Keep them back in line with the feet. Double up, 
switch, change. Double up, switch. Now box squares, clock and counter clock with kick ups. Super. Right leg taps forward, shuffle it back. Left goes back. Repeat. Right up, left back. Now the other leg, left forward, right back. Carry on. And switch, right up, left, back. All right, feet together to reverse L, and arms up, other arm. Good, legs apart, continue. Two elbow presses to the right, switch left. Continue nice and low on the legs, wide squat. Two to go. And back to your squat, pulse, go. And switch. Well done. Okay, we're starting with a march on the next one. Moving thereafter into a wide march with a tap in, side to side, right and left, on the count of four. Learn the legs first for wherever you're confused and add the arms in later. Let's try this. All right, wide march. Tap in on four. That's it, one, two, three and four. Carry on, side to side. Okay, moving into taps, front side and a knee. Right leg. Left, carry on. Elbows up high, lying with the shoulder. Two to go and then three taps, up, back, up. Go. Lean in as you tap back. Go. Lovely. Hip shift and double up. Left. Continue. Carry on. On the double, right leg goes forward. Left leg goes back on the double. Repeat. Last time, finish it. Nice. Lovely. So remember this routine is generally being done with light weights for fat loss, inch loss and upper body tightening and toning. Let's get going. We're starting with our right leg in the lead out here and we've got weight shifts. Let's try it. Lift the shoulder up side to side. Carry on. All right, just the legs now. Step touch and lunge. The inner leg lunges, step touch, lunge. Add a single arm circle. Left, good, open it out nice and large. Keep going. All right, now march in and apart, just to the right. Good. Pick the feet up higher, use the upper body, swing the arms. Now end to end, right? Tap and change, left. Continue. Good, got it? Now add the arms. Take that up to the ceiling, lift. followed by a squat pulse. Single pectoral lift, elbows up and change. Again. Right, a quick step touch, end to end. Carry on, open it out. And slow down again, hold. Double that up. Slow again. 
and fast. Good. Right, you worked really hard, I can tell. Good job, now time to cool down. And just start up here with a hip shift. Just keep shifting your weight side to side with single arm punches in front. Let's do this. All right, step touch end to end, keep it small, reach and pull. Tiny moves, easy breathing does it here. Now cross up front, tap it up. Two to go and tap it backward. Lovely. Moving into two travels side to side and backing you. Right, left. Shoot from the hip with the arm. Lovely. Turning to the side out here. Travel for two. Take a U-turn. Do it again. Travel for two to your right. Two to your left. Keep it going. Facing forward now. Step tap, shuffle and switch. It's a diagonal bicep curl. Careful not to miss the shuffle here. Two left, then we'll take it back to the first move. Now a hip shift, punch. Lean forward, carry on. Stand up, keep going. Lean in, do it again. Upright, last time around. Lean in. Step touch, reach full, go right and left. Two to go, tap it up front now. Ball. Tap it back, but only twice now. Wide to narrow march. Followed by a hip shift. Now, lovely. All done. So, Jamuna, good to see you, my friend. As you know, we don't have much time. Just a few weeks up to the wedding. And our viewers need to get very wedding fit. D-Day is just a few weeks away. So, is five weeks really enough to get your skin in shape? Is our tropical climate a hindrance to healthy skin? Especially those on the threshold of walking to the altar are naturally very anxious. They shouldn't break into a skin rash or acne of sorts. How do we clear their doubts before we clear their skin? So starting with if there is only five weeks, you know, for the wedding, five weeks is not really a great amount of time if you're suffering, say, for example, from acne. So to treat the acne, find the cause, treat the acne or straight away, even if we start treating the acne without finding the cause, five weeks is not enough to treat, then treat the scars and give them the flawless skin that every bride or her relative or every girl is looking for. For a glowing skin, we just want to take off the debris that is sitting on all our skin if we have not exfoliated it. From a simple exfoliation, like a simple, like you just said, a, a towel rub, a Turkish towel rub, you know, taking away the dead skin cells, to using home remedies that contain um, uh, substances that can dissolve and take off the dead skin layer, to peels at the salon, to slightly deeper peels, all this goes a long way in exfoliating the dead skin cells, the debris. And so, if we are using any active products for pimples, for anti-aging, for pigmentation, for giving a brighter skin, they penetrate better. I'll quickly tell you a home recipe that you can use for all skin types. Take a medium-sized cucumber, cut it into cubes. It has 70-80% of water, put it in the blender, there's no need to add water. Blend it coarse. Okay, don't make it into a smooth paste and by the time, uh, take a glass bowl, 
keep a one tablespoon of crushed oats in that. Put this whole mixture in it. Mix it well. Don't use your hands because we have to keep it for about seven days uh, in the fridge. Mm -hmm. I mean, it can last only up to seven days because it's a fresh thing. There are no preservatives in it. And you mix it and keep it. And then for an oily skin type, you take one teaspoon of this. Not every day, maybe every second day also. Take one teaspoon full of this mixture. You can even add soaked almonds. When you're making the recipe and it's lasting for seven days, you can add about four soaked almonds. So that also gives that little granular feel. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then once you're done with this, take one teaspoon of this and one teaspoon of curd. Mix it well and apply on an oily skin because curd goes with the, the sourness. Then for a dry, very dry skin, take one teaspoon full of this. Mix milk cream or malai. So that will nourish and hydrate a very dry skin. And for normal skin, you just apply the paste as it is. Don't, uh, I mean, you can scrub hard in a normal skin. In a problem skin, just wash off the paste after 15 to 20 minutes because you don't want to rub it and cause any problems. Fantastic. That's really useful and that's very easy to do. Yeah, easy. We all do. have these ingredients at home. Tom. You can just go to your kitchen and get started. Yeah, so thank you. That was You're great. Welcome. After taking charge of working on the body and skin, the baton of fitness is being handed over to the nutritionist to take us to the finishing line of this five week countdown in order to get really wedding fit. The week long festivity preceding the wedding is bound to take its toll unless those following wedding fit also follow Luke Catino's nutritional plan. So Luke, can your treasure of experience really uh, help those who actually shy away from accepting their oversized appearance? They surely need a hand holding to give them the confidence that there is hope. And our five week wedding fit plan is watertight in order to help them lose all that loose flap. A couple of questions come to mind. Firstly, there's always this struggle. Should I be vegetarian? Should I be non-vegetarian to lose fat, to lose inches? There's always the protein issue as far as that is concerned. So what is your take on all of these issues? So I think to start with protein, I, there's a whole myth around how much protein you need. People think they need more protein to lose weight. But it's not about protein. You need to understand that protein breaks down into the human body into something called amino acids. And that does all the magic for a lean body. That, all, that does all the magic to lose flab and weight. So for example, the human body can make 15 amino acids by itself, but the balance eight, there are totally 23. The balance eight comes from the food that we eat. And now some of these foods are simple foods like green peas, cauliflower, green leafy vegetables, fruits, nuts, and seeds. Now notice I've not even mentioned a protein shake yet. So what I mean to say that even a Jain vegetarian diet can get sufficient protein for a normal lean body without having to resort to any supplements. So let me give you an example. The combination of a brown or red rice with rajma is a complete protein. By that I mean it has the complete amino acid profile. In the non-vegetarian section, the only food that has a complete protein amino acid profile is the egg, the white and the yolk. And most people dump the yolk and have the white. It's quite useless without the yolk. So you can't separate nature. You have to have the whole protein together. So when you come to a vegetarian diet, most vegetarians look outside into supplements. They try to get it from a whey protein, or some of them even decide to start eating eggs and non-veg because they believe mm -hmm. that protein is the fix. Mm -hmm. But protein isn't a fix because if you have excess protein, anything that's not utilized by the body gets stored as fat, including protein. So you have to have a really intensive workout plan to absorb all that excess protein that you take through supplements and everything else. The second thing is protein makes the body acidic. So if you have excess protein, your body's acidic, which is why a lot of people who resort to protein shakes have bloating and flatulence and indigestion. That's all because it's making the body acidic in mm. nature. So I think nature has given us enough of protein and people don't believe that there's enough of protein in fruits, but there is because the body needs minute quantities of it. The, the usual calculation is if you weigh 60 kilos, it's one gram per kilo of your body weight, 60 grams a day, which any vegetarian diet can give you if it's balanced and it revolves around whole grains, vegetables, fruits, nuts, seeds, lentils and legumes. You have all the protein you need. Fantastic. 
Thank you so much. Very insightful. Sometimes walking those seven steps can actually be easier than walking on a treadmill. Getting you viewers of Tata Sky Active Fitness Channel number 113 Wedding Fit is as challenging for us as it is for you. Now that we have accepted it and each other, let's go for it. Let's look positively forward to wearing the latest trends in regular sizes instead of the usual double XL ouch which can hide that ugly paunch. The sounds of the band baja are fast approaching, so you really need to put your feet together, get your act together and get really wedding fit. Hi, this is Navaz Modi Singhania, wishing you a happy wedding season ahead. Bend on the ends, we're dropping in between counts. One more, other leg ball change, opposite arm, bring the arm up to shoulder level. Now right leg goes back, ball change, go. One more, and left leg ball change. All right, step touch, end to end, keep it small, reach and pull. For a uh, glowing skin, we just want to take off the debris that is sitting on all our skin if we have not exfoliated it. From a simple exfoliation, like a simple, like you just said, a, a towel rub, a Turkish towel rub, you know, taking away the dead skin cells, to using home remedies that contain um, uh, substances that can dissolve and take off the dead skin layer. Even a Jain vegetarian diet can get sufficient protein for a normal lean body without having to resort to any supplements. So let me give you an example. The combination of a brown or red rice with rajma is a complete protein. By that I mean it has the complete amino acid profile. In the non-vegetarian section, the only food that has a complete protein amino acid profile is the egg, the white and the yolk. And most people dump the yolk and have the white. It's quite useless without the yolk. So you can't separate nature. You have to have the whole protein together.